Hey guys, it's Camelfighter1234 here, and I have a review and comparison of my Gemini Jets American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. Today I'll be doing a review of this airplane right here, along with its Phoenix counterpart, just with a different livery on it. Um, but first I'll be doing uh, a review of this model and then comparing it to the Phoenix model. First with the box. Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. Gemini Jets logo. The 2D rendition of the airplane. American Airlines. Boeing 777-300ER. One for Hunter's Scott Diecast model. On the side. On the top. Warning label. On the other side. And Gemini Jets features. And then... This is a 2006 release. I mean, 2016 release. My bad. Airplane climbing, as real as it gets. It is uh, licensed by American Airlines and Boeing. And it's made in China. Let's go to the inside flap. All the specs. If you guys want to pause and read, look. I'll just go from here, if you guys can see. And then to here. The registration is November 720 Alpha. Uh, oh shoot, I forgot what N was. I really did, for, I just blanked out right there. I really don't, I forgot what N was. November, there it is. Felt like, yeah, I, I just said it too. All right, it's one of those days. Okay, sorry about that guys, we're back into the model. Let's just do a quick review and then compare it. First, we got the cockpit windows with the windshield wipers. And in the front, I believe it says seven on the landing gear, the, the bay door, it says 77-0, seven, seven I believe, 7LD. I really don't know. Oh, but now you see the detail, the... <laughs> Landing gear, and you got the L1 door, American Airlines, L2 door, beautiful GE90 engines, I believe they are GE90s, and yes, they are GE90s, sorry, emergency exit, beautiful wing, navigation lights, and then the other doors, and the registration again. The beautiful, beautiful tail. But I still do like the old American Airlines livery better. That's just my opinion. I just love the chrome thing on it. I've yet to get an old model of that, though. I, I have to find one on eBay. APU exhaust, elevators. They're metal, which on some models are plastic, which I don't know why. It's just with the antennas on. I did wish they put the dish on the top though. Like they have it marked. They have it marked. It's just not there. They do have the antennas though, which are nice. They don't have any on the bottom. But here's the underbelly of the aircraft. I just wish that the piece, like the two piece setup that they have, is not noticeable. And the gear does roll. I mean, roll until. It's same. And now we're moving on to the Phoenix variant of the 777. I do have a review on this as well on my channel. It's just uh, a little more down from this video, maybe like a couple scrolls down. Um, but one of the most noticeable differences is the cockpit windows. Let's just get on, like, level ground. You can just tell the cockpit windows are on the American are higher and more pointed up than on the Phoenix model. And I, you could argue that the Phoenix is more detailed in the cockpit area. And the landing gear is more, oh jeez, is more detailed, a little more detailed as well. 
But another difference is that the Phoenix does have the dish on the top. And they don't have that two-piece. Oh my god. They don't have that two-piece set up over here. Like on the Gemini Jets model. Engines are both the same. GD90 engines. I did fly on this airplane to uh, Istanbul. But I did uh, fly on the A330-300 back to uh, JFK. I, I will be doing a review on the A330-300 very shortly. But those are like the most noticeable differences. We'll just... Hang on, is that a sticker? Yeah, it's a sticker. I thought that was uh, like indented. But there is like, make sure that's put that right there. That's the Phoenix variant and then it's the Gemini Jets. Like the Phoenix has more of a darker ABU exhaust than the American. But those are just the most noticeable differences. I hope you guys did enjoy this video though. Please comment, rate, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Camo out.